Hey yo, what's good everybody? Hope y'all are having a super blessed day and welcome back to Sharp Sports. So as we all know, some of the top high school recruits each and every single year come out of Texas. However, more specifically, some of the best high school quarterbacks are coming out of Texas. And today's player is no exception. Today we're gonna be taking a look at class of 2022 QB coming out of Carroll High School, Quinn Ewer. Or E Ewers. Or Ewers. Quinn is a 6'3", 195-pound class of 2022 quarterback who in his sophomore year threw for 4,003 yards for 45 touchdowns to only three interceptions and had a QBR of 138. Oh yeah, he also rushed for 568 yards and had another nine touchdowns. So I got to see what this standout sophomore is looking like on the field. So with that being said, let's jump straight into Quinn's highlights. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's take a look at this talented sophomore. Also, I don't think I mentioned it in the intro. I want to give a huge shout out to Han Gao. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. He is the uh, person that put me on to this boy, Quinn, who is just dropping dimes out here. Okay, hold up. How far was that first throw? Throwing it from basically the 43. Nice little like 42, 43 yard pass. Okay. He has really good footwork. Oh, okay. This is something that if you've watched a lot of my quarterback college, you'll realize why I'm why this is so important. Look at how comfortable he looks just taking his step backs. Just nice progression through it. Steps up, feet nice, like he just like that throw is so clean. He puts just the right amount of, of force on that front foot, leaves it, leaves it up tall so his receiver can go up and go get it. Nice throwing motion, like yo. Sophomore's mechanics don't be like this. Like, do you see the touch that he's putting on this ball? Like, he's just barely moving his arm and just delivering a strike. And he's already got the prototypical size. I mean, he's already 6'3", basically 200. This dude is like Joe Cool out here. He is just, he looks so com comfortable in the pocket. There you go. He's, okay, he's got, he got some arm, ta he got some arm talent though to be able to get the ball to the outside. The, um, one thing I have seen him do a lot, though, which a lot of young quarterbacks do, is he does kind of eye down one receiver, so he doesn't. I haven't seen him really go through his progressions a whole lot, but that's something that you. That's something he could keep on working on uh, going into his junior year. There you go. Oh, take off on him! Take off on him! Let's go! He definitely looks like a four-seven guy in the forty, but he could definitely he could he can make some moves when he needs to, especially when there's that much open field in front of him. Okay. Even with pressure in his face, he's still able to is still able to deliver a strike. Oh, we got the we got the Philly special. Let's go. For me, this this dude, it's like I'm telling you guys, sophomores don't throw the ball like this. Like First off, look at the anticipation that he, he's already winding up to throw, and this dude's barely getting out of his break. This is this is great anticipation. He's throwing it into a very tight window, and he 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 doesn't like he doesn't rifle balls in. I've, I've seen he just likes to just float it right into the little pocket, leaves it up high so his receiver can go make a play on it. Like his ball placement is so money. I mean, when he needs to, though, he can put some velocity on the ball. I like his footwork, too. He's not like jumping, like he's not like skipping um, steps in his drop back. He's really making sure to take like if it's a three step drop back, he takes a three step drop back and then he step, he, he climbs up into the pocket like he does a really good job with that. Like that's normally the last thing that quarterbacks develop in high school is good footwork. Normally they're just all arm talent, especially at this. Get off of me! Especially at this stage in his career. Like I mean, this is this was his first full year as, as a starter. Leads his team to the third best team in, in Texas. Throws for four thousand yards. It only has three picks. Like this dude completed seventy two percent of his of his passes. Like this might be the next Joe Burrow right here. Bro, he can, when he pulls it though, he, he's got, he's more quick than fast. He's definitely more quick than fast. Like he can get you those, 
those quick five yards man if see this this is this is the play where you just need to you and your quarterback need to me to just talk if the quarter if the corner if this is that third down or first down i can't tell i can't tell what the, what that says if the corner is giving you like 10 yards of open space with no safety help over the top to the short side of the field this is just this is just turn and catch the ball this isn't don't run a stop just literally just like just turn to the quarterback and catch the ball because as soon as because he's basically he comes down if he would have caught the ball right here i mean he still makes the man miss like like this play was still gonna happen like this regardless but that's just something that you and your quarterback can talk about and just like just to get the ball in his hands that much quicker because, I mean, that was going to happen regardless. You have a talented receiver on the outside with no safety help, and you're giving him 10 yards of cushion? Come on. that, that Come on, bro. If I'm, if I'm that DB coach or the defensive coordinator, I'm screaming out there either to roll the safety over the top or to, to close that, that gap a little bit. He knows how to deliver a nice long ball, though. Again, he's not like he's definitely quicker than fast. Like I, I, I see, like he's just gonna keep on uh, gaining weight as he gets older. So he's probably gonna be somewhere around like the two fifteen to two twenty range by the time by the time he's a senior in high school. I could see him probably just being more of like a prototypical guy who can move the sticks when when need be. He's probably gonna be somewhere in like the four seven two range by the time he's in college, and he's just gonna be able to like make. Make a DN miss and go gain the extra like three, four yards to go pick up a first down. But then he has like crazy arm talent too. Like for me, like it's not like, oh, he could just rocket the ball downfield. I mean, he's shown that he could throw the ball effectively about 40 to 50 yards, probably about 55 is probably pushing it for his arm. But he, he has such great touch and anticipation with these throws. Leaving it perp like leaving it back shoulder so his receiver is the only uh, is the only guy that can make a play on the ball. He can improve though on moving his eyes a lot more. Rolling out, delivering a strike. Let's go. Again, for all of my for all of my non quarterbacks out there, I want you guys to go try and roll out to your non throwing arm, and then just flip those hips and make a and make a strike throw. It's a lot harder than you think. They, these guys make it look really easy, but that is a very hard throw to make. Again, like just. It's just the little things, especially for like in like like incoming routes, like slants, ins, uh, really the drag routes, things like that. You don't want the ball like rifled on top of you, like because it's already a short field and you're kind of like running back towards the quarterback. So he just just delivers a nice, just very easy, nice catchable ball. Like that's 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 Quinn's biggest attribute. He throws a very catchable ball. There you go. But but man, when he when he needs to get that ball out to the to the to the boundaries, he can get it out there with some zip. Like he doesn't have crazy elite arm strength, but he has enough to be able to make those sideline throws. He can make the 10 yard out throws. He can make the comeback throws and you're not worried about the corner being able to to press down because there's so much time like the ball takes so long to get out there that the corner can undercut it. Like he can he can get the ball out there. You know, this boy Quinn, he's man. Carroll High School might might be the best team in Texas with, with this dude at the quarterback. Well, alrighty, yo, Quinn, you are hands down one of the, if not the best sophomore quarterbacks in the country. To me, you have a different skill set of intangibles than most of the other five-star and four-star quarterbacks that I cover. Most of the four and five-star quarterbacks have a crazy big arm. They can make all the deep ball throws, but they lack in their footwork and they can use some help in their mechanics and the, their throwing mechanics. You, on the other hand, you throw a very catchable ball. You have really solid footwork. You can make guys miss as a, as like a, dual, a dual threat option. But bro, just the anticipation that you're able to throw on passes, the touch that you have on passes at such a young age, that's, a, that's what's gonna separate you come your junior and senior year once the ranking system really starts being more of a factor. Cause bro, like 
as a former receiver, I can tell you right now, your receivers love you because you don't always try and just rifle the ball in there. Like you make sure to give them the best and easiest ball to catch possible. But all right, but with that being said, hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Let's get this video to 500 likes because that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other players that you guys want me to see because that's how I know who you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am a coming out with. A yeah. All right, you guys, with all that being said, hope y'all have a super, super blessed rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.